Hi everybody, my name is Christina Cribbs. I'm the senior attorney at the Georgia Innocence Project and I'm making a short video today just to give you an update on the Joey Watkins case. I am one of the lawyers that is a part of the awesome team that we currently have representing Joey Watkins. And we wanted to just let you know that the case has now docketed in the Georgia Supreme Court. And I'll just explain a little bit about what that means. Up to now, um, you may know that we were successful in getting habeas corpus relief for Joey Watkins in Walker County. And that means that his conviction was overturned back in April. The Attorney General's office um, has decided that they were going to appeal that decision in May. And in the meantime, we've been waiting for the record to be prepared and sent to the Georgia Supreme Court. So that has now happened. Um, part of that process was we had a three-day hearing back in February and March of this year, and the court reporter had to prepare that transcript and get it filed with the clerk's office, which she did, and then the clerk gets the record all ready to go to send up to the Supreme Court. When they receive the record, they assign the case a new Georgia Supreme Court number, and that's just called docketing. So all of that has happened, and the next steps in the process are that the Attorney General, because it is their appeal, they will file the first brief in the case. That happens 20 days after docketing. Normally, um, well, not normally, but it's, it's pretty common to request and receive extensions for briefing. And so that may happen in this case. If it does not, the Attorney General's brief will be due in July and our response brief will be due in August. And there's um, one other thing that we can share, which is, the oral argument in this case will be scheduled for October. We don't have the exact date yet, but that will be available online um, live streamed. So no matter where you're located, if you're interested in watching that, you'll be able to do that sometime in October. And of course, we'll bring you updates about when we have more information on when that will be. Um, after the oral argument, it's typical for cases to take several more months to get a decision from the Georgia Supreme Court. So we are expecting to hear something early next year in 2023. And um, until then, we will be preparing our brief and our oral argument and just bringing you any other updates that we have in the case. We also wanted to thank everyone again for your continued support of Joey Watkins and his family. Uh, they very much appreciate all of the love and positive energy. So thanks for checking in.